Cool, am I just yarning on about my journey? When I was, when I was younger, um, I was always, because my dad loved um, the NRL, loved watching the footy, um, but I was always obsessed with sports reporting and always wondered why there wasn't enough women um, in the field of sports reporting. And so that was something that I wanted to do. I wanted to get in front of the camera. I wanted to yarn, have these conversations with people. Um, and then as I got a little bit older and started becoming more conscious of, you know, the way my father was treated because of the colour of his skin and started becoming more conscious of us and where we grew up in social housing and what we were subjected to, um, I started becoming more aware of, of where I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. At the age of 11, um, I was forcibly removed from, from my father in the middle of the night. Um, through this process, I was then um, placed into out-of-home care. Um, family and community services, unfortunately, which is very common, didn't follow any policies that were meant to, which is if you are removed from your family, um, kinship principal, you go to another family member, you go to another Indigenous member in the community, or you go to someone just in the community, um, and the last resort is going into non-Indigenous homes. Um, unfortunately, I was placed in out-of-home care, and because of um, many policies not being followed and um, also being Indigenous, I was actually placed into um, over 10 different non-Indigenous homes. Um, some, some, some really good people and unfortunately um, the really bad end of that. Since, since Kevin Rudd um, said sorry, we've only had the numbers triple in out-of-home care. Too many of our children are going into out-of-home care and then there's no support when they're forced to leave at 18. After leaving at 18, they're likely to make contact with the juvenile justice system and before you know it, society is saying they're a terrible person. They're not a terrible person. It's the system that has impacted that individual and this is so important to talk about. As a First Nations woman who was removed and placed in all those different homes, sometimes I struggle with knowing where I belong. Sometimes I struggle with knowing, well, who's my family? Where's my identity sit? Where am I meant to be? And it's a result of the system that's failed me and I'm just very very fortunate enough that I've had people who have caught me saying sorry means you don't do it again and it's happening again.